best ways of destroying you need to pre-digest the arrhythmia. But one of them is to help make the nutrients more readily available to the cow. So the cow takes less time extracting the nutrients that are in the dairy meal. You see, because any farmer spends a lot of money formulating or they put a lot of money in dairy meal. So they need to make sure everything that is, all the money that is put there is put to use. There is no one who feeds a dairy cow just to make money. The reason that's why we give dairy meal is because we want more milk. We want our cows to grow well and we want our, di our dairy cows to perform. Now we realize that uh, most of our, um, uh, our, our um, raw materials that are used to make dairy meal are made from the would be byproducts of agriculture. Let's say, now when you look at the main ingredient here is maize bran, which is the outer layer, uh, uh, which used to be put to waste before people learned that this can be fed to animals or can be used in dairy, uh, in rations to <coughs> feed dairy cows. Okay. Without wasting a lot of your time, let's just go through the procedure. Now, the key things that we need, one, is we need to have a, a molar plus, and livestock microbes. What we're going to do is we're going to make, we want to pre-digest dairy meal. That is why we need to use our molar plus, livestock microbes. It's one of the key things. Then we have already uh, pre-digested, uh, sorry, already mixed uh, dairy meal, which is this. Uh, I'm putting it on a clean surface. This is a clean surface. Uh, you might be, some of you may be wondering where I'm putting on gloves. Just that I don't want to uh, make my hands a bit messy, but it's okay. You can do without them. Eh? Then we have uh, we have molasses, backstrap livestock bread molasses. Um, then we have our microbes. Now this is a uh, one liter of livestock microbes. Because I'm going to do a small quantity for demo the demonstration purposes, uh, this is already mixed. But let me show you how uh, backstrap molasses looks like. That's how it is. It is it is that thick. Yeah. So we, we add in some. What we need to do is to add in. Um, I'll leave the description and the ratios in the in the link below. For those who need who need it can contact me. But basically that's what we need. We need microbes, we need molasses, we need non-chlorinated water, and then we need dairy meal. The process is pretty simple. Uh, so I'm using a uh, I'm doing a small quantity just for demonstration purposes. That is why I'm not mixing a lot. So this is our mixture. What we have in here is microbes, uh, livestock microbes. We have molasses. We have non-chlorinated water as the key ingredients, and our dairy meal. Now we are going to use a bucket. process is pretty simple. We are going to use a bucket, uh, but you can use a bigger drum if you are going to digest, to digest a large quantity, or you can use a silage bag, or something like this. Um, basically, I don't want to waste a lot of your time. Let's go through the process. Now, the key things, one of the key things that we need to look at is we need to make sure that once uh, When you, the key things, eh? okay, what we're doing is to make this dairy meal wet, but not soggy. Eh? I don't know if you understand me when I say wet, but not soggy. The concept is each, 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 each particle in this, in this dairy meal should have, uh, should have, some bit of, of, of uh, our inoculant 
which is Mola Plus livestock microbes, huh? the dairy meal, and, and the water, but it does not have to be soggy. What we mean, when you hold it and you squeeze it, you squeeze it in your palm, you're not supposed to get any water coming out. But when you look at it, see, it, it, it is wet. Now, why we do that is we need to make, to, to make sure we reduce the moisture content, make sure there's, there's less water by its wet feed. Now, what that helps you is, you see when, when a cow is feeding, it does, it breathes through the food. So, uh, in that process, some of the nutrients are lost, in what we call dung. But now when you do it this way, and you predigest it, the microbes here, uh, one of the things that are, that are in these microbes is a cocktail of enzymes that are found inside the rumen of the cow. Now what those do are the same things that these ones are doing, but now you're creating a stomach outside the cow. So when you feed this predigested dairy meal to a cow, it, will, it won't have to digest it again. The, the nutrients will just be absorbed in the body since it has already been predigested. Now let's uh, let's rush a little bit through the process. how our dairy meal looked before and once we are done I want to show you how it will be can see we've, finished, we've um, made most of our actually all our dairy meal that we want to come to, to pre-digest wet uh -huh. we've made it we've made it wet but um, when you look at it now it's we've increased its moisture content but when you squeeze it in the palm of your hands it is not it, it doesn't there's no water that oozes out eh? Or if you're to do it, what? There, there should be um, very minimal or no water coming out by its weight. Eh? Now, when you compare it with this that we had before, you see you can't, even when you hold it like this, it will still, I think you can see the difference is this forms like a paste, but there is no water. So th this shows you the amount of water that we need in this dairy meal. Now, after this, we have to put it in an uh, in a container that we can seal off tight, uh, tightly so we avoid uh, air getting into it because the process of predigestion is anaerobic eh? it doesn't need oxygen okay so we are going to use this bucket huh? we, it's, it's, it's not a sophisticated process so any farmer can do it you can use a drum, you can use a silage bag yeah, basically it's, it's just like a process of um, ensiling but this time we are using we are, we, are, we are doing it with a dairy meal. Now, um, okay. So without wasting a lot of your time, this is what we shall do. The key thing is to make sure it's also whatever we put. We have to just like we do silage. 
we have to compact. We have to compact it. Huh? <laughs> When I'm doing it in this bucket, every time I do about 10 centimeters, I have to expel some of the trapped air. For mainly to get rid of the excess air spaces and then excess air that is inside here. And whatever will be left. Trust our molar plus livestock microbes, the yeast that is there to absorb that excess oxygen and maintain the environment anaerobic. The results that come out of this process. Are amazing. The milk production of your cows will go up and you get more milk per kg of dairy milk for your cow. That is what we have there, um, but we need to make sure this bucket is full. I uh, had a wrong estimation of the point that would be needed, so now I need to top it up uh, before we could close it. Eh? Okay, thank you. Let me do that. So, so now what we are going to do is we are going to seal off our pre-digestion. With the polythene and a rubber ring. And why we do this is to make sure we don't allow any excess air. To enter. To enter as that will make our our, our feed go bad for our dairy meal.
why we use these rubber rings and polythene because they give us more certainty that no excess air will enter For us to be very sure, we still fit the airtight lid. And this we can feed after three days, or even 24. After three days, it will be ready for us to feed. Yeah, after three days, it will be ready for us to feed. Thank you. That is the, in brief, that is our. That is how we pre-digest dairy meal using um, Mala Plus livestock microbes. And the purpose of this again is one to increase or to improve, to, to, to increase the ability to, 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 to help the cow extract more nutrients from the dairy meal. Basically, what we want is to make sure whatever we put in the dairy meal is utilized by the cow to a larger extent so that all our money that is put there gives us value either to add on the um, weight of the cow or to use to produce a milk, more milk, or for maintenance of the cow. But we want to get value for money we, at, at this day and age when everything is very expensive, we need to make sure we lower our cost of production and one of the key one of the easiest ways of doing it is by using molar plus livestock microbes and um, ensuring that we get value for for money from our dairy meal most farmers have very good formulation with their dairy meal but most of the nutrients go to waste because you have a nutrient pack in the dairy meal but you have not assisted the cow to utilize what you put there so in a very short time the wood feed will go through the stomachs of the cow and utilize and then you have it you have it in the tank. then you'll be wondering i've fed my cow with very good dairy meal but i'm not getting results try this you thank me later